Empty bowl be the favorite going in, so you know, kind of a little less pressure on the U.S. champion. You can just go after it and let it rip. Um, yeah, I don't really like to put that much pressure on myself. I just know that if I go out and execute a race the way that I'm supposed to, the way that we work on in training, then anything is bound to happen. I just focus on myself and what I can do. Should you take us through like your I guess, five year journey since your last U.S. title in, in summary? Of course. Ooh. <laughs> What was that, 2018? That was the off year, and I won. I was going through some stuff, boy. Um, and then, you know, the kind of following years after that, the coaching change, um, environment change, and it was just, you know, like, just the growing pains in the sport, me really having to grow and not having the outcomes that I was used to. Just like, really just kind of like, coming out here and, and bombing it. But, you know, I'm always able to bounce back. That's what I really love about myself. I can make it through anything. And then, you know, to show up here and just put together everything that I've been through, every win, every loss, every lesson, and just put it together and put it on the line for this very moment. It just feels amazing. You run a lot of flat 400s. How is that helped you? Um, it's just fun. I mean, at the end of the day, 400 hurdles, 400 is still 400 meters. So it just kind of puts into perspective what you can do when you're going over barriers. It's just like, you know, and it's just a, a way to take, just have some fun. Have fun for me and not have to like focus on, you know, obstacle. I could just open up my stride and I could just go. That, that confidence to think of a medal at the Budapest World Championships, like where does that come from? The confidence, the confidence. The confidence comes from just knowing and remembering who I am, knowing, you know, nobody works harder than me, how I train, um, just the work that I put in on the daily, on the track and off the track. That's kind of like, it's just building the confidence and then thinking back to, you know, winning medals when I'm... 22 years old, don't know what I'm doing, and I'm on that podium, and it's just like, okay, I can get on that podium like that. Imagine taking everything I've learned since then, and I can definitely still get on this podium. To that point, I mean, obviously, 2014 here was, you know, so many like, special things, and now we're nine years later, and it's like Samir's little, Samir little is still, you know, uh, there at the, uh, at the top. I mean, like, what is that longevity? Um, what is that legacy? Oh, my goodness. It means a lot. I always kind of sit and have these conversations with, like, my peers and stuff, you know, thinking about, you know, you start track as a dancer, and then you go into more middle school, you go into high school, and it's just like, America's next time out, people just fade in. And then you kind of just start to think, like, I'm still here, I'm still standing, and I can still go. So that's just like, that's just crazy, having a crazy run, and I'm having a successful run, and I'm going to continue having a successful run. Because you and Dorilla, I mean, like, you're just continuing to carry this torch. Asian, like, fine, fine, I want to be like her when I grow up. Absolutely. But, I mean, I have the blessings, you know, seeing you indoors, you know, seeing you outdoors. I mean, like, have you, have you just felt just, just the energy and just you know, the way you and your coach Kathy Cook Johnson have been training? I mean, are, are you as optimistic as you've ever been going into a, a global meet? Very much so optimistic. I'm always like, I think I've learned every possible lesson that I can in this event. And it's just like, ain't no more lessons to learn now. I just got to go out there and just lay it all out on the line. Trust myself. Trust my training. Trust my coaching. Trust, just trust everything. And just, just go for it. Go for it. Lay it all out on the track. Well, there's going to be a lot of uh, captain and boogie energy in that final. It is. Them too. They a mess. So just to have a group of girls, this, well, almost 10 of us, that's going to move the fast. And, you know, it's always good seeing them as brothers and just, like, they like this and seeing them and we warming up. Like, it's a big it's a big family, one big competitive family. With training going so well, would you say right now you think you're probably the strongest that you've ever been? Oh, for sure. For sure. Definitely the strongest. These repeat 400 is, listen, put some hair on my chest. So, yeah, I'm the strongest I've ever been, the fastest, the most confident, the most intentional, the most focused I've ever been. And Listen, I'm ready. What's the conversations like? Tia got second, Britain got second, you got first. What are y'all talking about behind the scenes? Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, I'm at the Airbnb with Talia. We just sit in. We just like, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. It's like, we just really feed off of each other's energy. And it's just so much more than us. We got our Jamaican athletes. They just, you know, got first and they got second. And I've been kind of holding off on going in the group chat with the group. But as soon as I'm done, I'm going to my phone. I'm like, listen, ladies. 
<laughs> we thugged it out. We really have been thugging it out. We have a lot, even one of my training partners, she made it to the final. Uh, she didn't make the NCAA final, and then she shows up, she comes through three rounds and does what she's supposed to do. Um, Rosie, getting fifth, making the team. Britton, Talia, Akira, look, let me shout out, like, Whitney Houston. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, those conversations, I'm sure once we get back home and we see each other, we're gonna have a fit, because we have been all just like <laughs> in each other's faces ever since the NCAA, ever since just forever. I'm, I'm excited to get back to them.